I have had a very positive, very constructive meeting uh, with uh, Foreign Minister Sikorsky and uh, Defence Minister Moniak. Um, it's always a great pleasure uh, to, to visit uh, Poland, a staunch ally. Uh, and let me take this opportunity to, to thank Poland uh, for her strong commitment uh, to our alliance, uh, for significant contributions uh, to NATO-led operations, for participation in a number of multilateral defense uh, projects, for hosting uh, one of our future missile defense um, uh, facilities, for participation in a number of uh, smart defense uh, projects. And last but not least, I would like to thank Poland for demonstrating a good example uh, when it comes to um, investment uh, in defense. Poland is pretty close to our 2% benchmark uh, for investment uh, in defense. And that's of utmost importance uh, if we are to make our collective defense credible, that we also invest a sufficient amount of money. We have discussed Afghanistan, and I would like to thank Poland uh, for um, a long-term steadfast uh, commitment uh, to uh, our operation um, in Afghanistan. You can be proud uh, of uh, your troops. They have really made a difference uh, in Afghanistan, and I pay tribute to their service and sacrifice. We are now in the process of transferring responsibility for the security to the Afghans themselves, and by the end of 2014, our ISAF uh, combat mission uh, will be completed. From 2015, we will establish a NATO-led training mission with the aim to train, advise, assist uh, the Afghan security forces. And in today's meetings, uh, I have expressed the hope um, that uh, Poland will be in a position to contribute uh, to that future NATO-led training mission in Afghanistan. Finally, we have also discussed uh, missile defense. Um, uh, then the development of uh, the NATO uh, missile defense um, uh, is uh, on track. We have taken the first steps, um, and over the coming years, uh, we will uh, further develop the NATO missile defense uh, with the aim uh, to provide coverage uh, of um, the populations uh, in European NATO countries uh, by 2018. Recently, uh, the U.S. Um, uh, changed um, uh, its approach uh, to uh, uh, missile defense, but let me assure you uh, that there will be no change uh, in uh, the implementation uh, of uh, the missile defense system as regards the coverage uh, of uh, populations in European uh, NATO countries. Uh, the coverage will be as planned, and once again, we thank Poland for the offer to host one of the missile defense capabilities. NATO's core task is territorial defense of our populations and societies, and missile defense is modern territorial defense to ensure effective protection of our populations against a growing missile threat.